this week I'm gonna finish these two containers of pasta. I'll probably eat both together because there's not a whole lot in each one and lately I've just had more appetite <laughs> to eat bigger meals. Excuse my messy stove. I think I'm also gonna take out, I'll leave the one without rice and I'll take out this, it's already got the rice in it. This is red beans and rice. And I think that's it. I'll cook the Brussels sprouts later on. I'll leave these for now until I figure out what I want to do. And I also earlier took out the other pork, shredded pork, so, barbecue shredded pork. So I'll leave those in there for now. I have bread, so I'll leave the bagels in there for now. And that's it for this time. Just showing you guys how I use up the leftover avocado. It keeps pretty good in these leftover butter containers. And I just keep the seed in there or whatever you call that. This, I think it's called a seed. <laughs> you keep it in there. It's still pretty green. I'm gonna scrape the little brown edges and I'm gonna make some avocado toast. And then I'll finish the celery this afternoon that I need to finish. All right, we've got avocado toast with a little bit of everything but the bagel, as well as Tony sash wreaths. And a little bit of celery on the side. So these are my two eggs this morning. I'm gonna have them with some avocado toast. That'll help me finish off the bread that I have. So I was actually out of bread. The bread that I had left, the two pieces left were moldy. So, so change of plans. I'm using one of the Trader Joe's hash brown patties. These are four points. So the same amount of points as the bread. And I've got two eggs. So this will be my breakfast. Just to show you guys, I didn't show it when I ate it, but my friend came over to watch movies with me one day and we had this rustic apple tart by Trader Joe's. So delicious, so worth it. I think I counted it as like 25 points, but it was worth it. We had it with vanilla ice cream while we watched Lost. It was so good. Definitely worth a splurge. I almost forgot to film. So I'm just heating up some simple kind of sauteed vegetables to go with some chicken that I have. So I've got one onion, I've cut it into kind of bigger pieces cause I'm gonna eat this as a side dish. And I'm gonna put it on the stove to saute with the rest of my veggies. Here it is, I've taken it off the stove. It got a little soggy because it was cooking well, but I felt like it was burning a little, so I added a little water to see, and it just turned soggy. It still tastes good. I'm gonna eat it over rice. It'll, it'll be fine, but lesson learned, I need to figure out how to cook this better. <laughs> I was trying to recreate something I had at Whole Foods, just some sauteed veggies that they had that were really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool and then put it into containers. I've got rice cooking. I'm probably just gonna put it into one big container tonight because I'm tired and I don't feel like separating it. This is what I got. I've got enough rice for about two, two servings. It's still hot, you can see. I should have made more. And I also have this for tomorrow to take with me and then pick up some chicken somewhere. And then I've got this left over. So this will probably be two or three more servings. And then Saturday I can make some more rice. I can even pick up some more veggies and try to do this again without adding water and seeing how that comes out. Just preparing some food for the week before I go on my trip, trying not to buy a whole bunch of stuff, just use what's in the fridge. So I've got these chicken breasts I bought last week. I seasoned this one with the chili lime seasoning blend from Trader Joe's just to try it out. I don't use it much. The rest are seasoned with Tony Sashri's and Italian seasoning. So I'll just have four chicken breasts for the week to eat along with some veggies. I also have soup and some other stuff and I'm just gonna try to eat what I have. This will get me at least four meals. It's a messy table, but I'm getting ready to go to work. This is what I'm bringing for supper and for my snacks. I've got one of those chicken breasts that I made. It's got olive oil and seasoning on it, and I'm gonna still count it as zero points. It's not enough olive oil, I don't think, to make a big deal. Technically, it could possibly be one point. I'm gonna count it as zero. 
And this is my piece of chicken for supper along with the sauteed veggies with brown rice. I'm gonna count this as zero points as well. And that'll be my dinner, the chicken with the veggies. I've got an orange for snack. I find if I peel these oranges and put them in these containers ahead of time, I'm more likely to eat them. When I bring them unpeeled to work or I just have them in the fridge unpeeled, the amount of work that goes into peeling an orange keeps me from eating it. So here's a little hack for you when you get your oranges, peel them ahead of time, put them in these containers. Because it's still in the whole shape, it doesn't really lose its juiciness. You got two cups of compute, two cups of computers, two cups of cucumbers, and two cups of carrots. So most of this is zero points. Oh, I know where my points came in. For breakfast, before I had the eggs, which technically the eggs were my lunch, I had Pop-Tarts. I forgot to take a picture of them, but I am trying to finish. I have two boxes of Pop-Tarts that are half eaten in my closet with my snack food. I'm trying to eat those up, get them out, get all the junky food out and just focus on fruits and veggies. So I did eat Pop-Tarts. I'm gonna eat Pop-Tarts a few times for breakfast leading up to my trip home. And then when I get back from home, another three or four times to finish up those two boxes. The way to eat a higher calorie breakfast, like something like Pop-Tarts that's doesn't have a lot of nutritional value and it's high in points or 15 points a pack, I think, is to just fill up the rest of your day with zero point foods, lots of fiber, lots of veggies. No need to feel deprived. Go ahead and have your Pop-Tarts if you want them. I'm trying to work towards getting more whole foods in my diet. I've got a lot of snacks in my snack closet that I need to finish. I'm gonna count this Trader Joe's sparkling black tea as zero points. That's what it is when I scanned it and it's got a peach flavor. I have this as my afternoon pick me up at work. So I'm packing all of this to go to work. That's the thing when you eat healthier, you've got lots of containers to bring. I did a good job. My One of my new year's resolution was to wash all my dishes while I'm at work. Like right after I eat, go to the kitchen and wash them, dry them, put them away in my bag, bring them home so that I don't have a ton of dishes when I get home on my days off and it's work. So these were washed at work yesterday. And so they're waiting to be put away tomorrow on my day off. So I'm gonna pack these away, get ready for work. I'll check in with you guys later this week. So I've got my plastic reusable bag. I reuse these a hundred times before I recycle them. We'll eventually use it as a kitty litter bag, but I try to get a lot of use out of it first so that it's not wasted. Got all the containers going in here. I like to pack them in a bag so that if anything were to leak in my work bag, it doesn't ruin the bag. All right, so the bag is in the work bag. I've got my purse right here, ready to head to work. Here are the Pop-Tarts. So. This is the s'mores, which is my favorite flavor of the three that I got. I got strawberry, s'mores, and chocolate fudge. And the s'mores, hands down, has been the best. The other two, I was actually kind of disappointed. It didn't seem to be what I remembered <laughs> Pop-Tarts to be, but I will definitely finish them. I'll finish a lot this week, and then next week, I'll when I get back from my trip, I'll try to finish the other box. So, here it is for your viewing pleasure. One of my coworkers made this delicious Hawaiian butter mochi. Of course I had a piece. I'm not gonna deprive myself. If a coworker makes something yummy, I'm gonna try it. And this was delicious. It did not disappoint. It's kind of like a Hawaiian tea cake, so good. I've got all the ingredients to make a cabbage soup this week. I had to buy a lot of the ingredients. I had to buy the carrots, I had to buy the cabbage, I had to buy the vegetable broth and the tomatoes. I did have all the seasonings and I had onion, bell pepper and celery already frozen. So I'm gonna use those up, but this is what I will have kind of in the fridge for the next several days. And then I can also freeze some, whatever's left over. It makes a big soup because, I mean, I don't know what else to do with a head of cabbage, so I cook it all. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this started, and then it doesn't take long. It's just gotta kinda heat up once everything cooks down. So I'll get that started. I'll have soup this afternoon.
I've entered this into my Weight Watchers app as zero points. The only little bit of points that there is in here would be the tiny bit of oil that I used and divided between the whole pot. It's negligible, so I'm counting this as zero points. This will be kind of a zero point soup that I can have. And just filling full of veggies, a nice little snack to get me through. It would be great with some bread or sometimes I put rice or potatoes in it. Right now I'm just gonna eat it kind of plain and simple and then I'll have a lot to eat for the rest of the week.